so we're gonna get Bernard, who's insane. Like he has so many combos. Oh, my caps locks up. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> just shouting it. Ah! <laughs> so it's Bur, it's Bernard. Uh, <laughs> God, I already, I already lost them. Is it B A? How do you spell it? It's, it's like B R E A. B R E N. Right. Bernard. Yeah, it's 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 spelled strangely. Okay. Set commander. Beautiful. So we're not gonna run like any golems, right? For the whole golem thing, that's just for whatever. Drew, do you want to? So the way that most people make this. Well, they have they, the splicers I'm talking right, about. That right, make... right, right. They, they play the splicers because they actually work really well with the commander because anything that the commander, like, puts in exile becomes a golem. So, like, a lot of people like to make it as, like, golem tribal. But, like, if, if you care more about the food, like, we can do that. That's completely doable. Yeah, because there's a lot of food stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, like, we can just play alternate win cons, like things that use food or, uh, you know. Okay. So, tireless provisioner, obviously. The ultimate food command, the card generator. Yes. Because it can make food. Yes, it can. There's also, uh, um, someone's looking up some, like, big popular food so cards. So, I'm driving uh, right now for the next hour. Ha <laughs> ha. Be careful, Drew. Oh, you better just be listening and not watching. <laughs> Night, Night of the Sweets Revenge. Unless he has like a Tesla or something, and he's not no. even. He's got that, hand, no, that's just as bad because they still crash. Yes, Don't do that. Yes. <laughs> and if you're driving a Cybertruck, well, it just fell apart. You said Night of what? Night of the Sweets Revenge. It makes foods tap for green. Oh yes, we played this in the uh, Snack Attack. Yes, this and, card's and off. Sir Ginger, the meal ender, the 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 food knight. Oh, yes, he is. He is just. A, well, she, because remember, it's from right. the, the video. Right. So it's. I remember, how do you sir, spell it's, that? S, it's the S Y R. Oh right, it's like that, right? Sure, Ginji. I really want to do either dinosaurs or something silly like Pramicon. <laughs> Pramicon? You're going to be that guy in 2024? You're going to make a spark double copy? No one's attacking. I actually have a dinosaur deck. I'm going to be honest with you. Dinosaurs are way too strong now. Like, I just don't play my Gishath anymore because the dinosaurs that they made this and last year made the deck just way too good. There are no bad dinosaurs that you can play now. Like, it is so good. I mean, you well, there you like, go. You uh, just open a Gishath. It's time. He's it's the time, he's yeah. the goat. You can either build him or the Discover one. I still, if you're talking um, about power level wise, I still prefer Gishath. But the Discovery one is fun for sure. See, I, I can show Tom, you. Tom, he's Gishath isn't a goat. He's a T Rex. God, so stupid. Okay, I'm retiring. <laughs> All right, Drew, take over. You're you're you, good. The, you have to call the deck trick or flex. <laughs> I can uh. I can f I can find my list. Uh, I can I can send you my list because I I I have a Gishath list. And a I've, I've, had, I've had it since <laughs> Ixalan, like since he originally came out. Oh, uh, how we forget Gilded uh, Gilded Goose? That's that's a good food. Card. Oh yes, the goat. There's a uh, per Peregrine Took. Gilded Goose. How do you spell it? P E. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's P E R E. P E R E. Yeah, Grin Tuke. Peregrine... There he is. This one. From he's from the Lord of the Rings. Yes. Oh, no. Should we play the Sam? Is is there one that makes food when a creature enters? Um. Isn't there like a Sam that does it right? Yeah, there might be I might the hiccups. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, Sam, it's just Samwise Gamgee. Sam. Oh, Samwise one word. Yeah. Let's look at the Samwise. This one, right? Yes. There we go. Yeah. Derek's dying, guys. 
It's okay. Derek gets there's in. Also he Sam, gets in addition there's, like I do. Yeah. There, yeah. There's yes. Sam Loyal Attendant, which is the uh, which is um the the white green partner one. I just Jeez. don't think we could partner because uh, the other one's black. Yep. Yeah, Frodo's yep. white black. Yep. Because we're racist. There's an idea. Want to help me brew a list for a chroma vision of Ixalan? Do a little keyword typo. Oh, so like uh, alphabet soup de- the deck. That's doable. That would be a funny idea. Is you just play all the things with like a ton of keywords. Chroma, what a card. Let me see. Oh, uh, Eleanor can... Gardner, that's a cool. I'm just looking at like the Lord, some of the Lord of the Ring food stuff. Because I know they had some cool stuff that came out. Actually, I know how I, I can do this. I'm going to find my deck list on my phone. And then send it to the chat. I'll show you my Gishat deck. I've had it for a very long time, and I love it right now. Uh, the, the one annoying thing I'm noticing is that there are there is a lot of uh, food in black. Because mm-hmm. black green is like the big food color. Oh, we got ads on our own stream. That's right. Okay. All right. Yeah, black. You're saying black has a lot of food. Yeah, from Lord yeah. of the Rings, right? Yeah. Well, uh, and and from the uh, uh, from where it originally came out from um, the uh, what's that? Uh, Here, we'll look at this after. Okay, so I'm on Sam Loyal Attendant. Did you say something while I was figuring that out? Uh, um, should we? <clears throat> we should play the token doublers, right? Double. It's no budget, by the way. Uh, uh, yeah. Doubling season. Well, we got to make sure that they're the ones that work, though. They got to say non, uh, non creature. Uh, yeah. Or the, uh, also, academy manufacturer. Parallel lives works. Oh, oh, academy. Oh, academy manufacturer. Because we are making a food, so we would also make a clue and treasure. You're right. And we could play Adrix and Nev. Wait, does that only work with? To- Hold on. Is that no, there, anything? There, yeah, they're all, all all those are I believe are tokens. Uh no, there is one that says only creature. It's one of the mono white ones. Anointed procession. Is it anointed? What's the white ones? It's like Mondrak is it's one. A, it's like an, it's uh, Mondrak uh, anointed procession. Wait, how's this one say? Whenever, yeah, it's anointed. It's not coming up though. Anointed. Am I spelling it wrong? There it is. Uh, oh, and then it, the. It's, and it's a uh, Ogier Ogier tech. Ogier doesn't work. That's the one that doesn't work. Here, oh, yeah, his creature tokens. Yeah, this one says if you were to create one or more creature tokens, he's the one that's worded like mm-hmm. that. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, dis- displaced dinosaur is so cool. Oh yes, because it turns everything into seven sevens, right? Yeah, every food that's, token yeah, yes. becomes a seven seven. This card's insane, dude. It's only four dollars. You guys, you got to pick this card up. Uh. Oh, you said, uh, yeah, that's fun, and she's a partner commander. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, uh, I gotta lurk for a bit. BRB, gotcha. This card, unreal. We also technically play some of the funny blue cards that we could play, like Rise and Shine for the Walls or stuff like that, you know? Oh, but here, here's actually kind of cool, and it's called uh, Banquet Guest. So it has affinity for food, so it costs one less for food, and it has X in its mana costs. And enters the battlefield with twice X plus one counters on it. 
And then for two mana, you get sacrifice of food to give it indestructible at the end of the turn. So, what was it again? That sounds good. They called ban uh, banquet guests. Banquet, banquet, right there. I put rise and shine in. By the way, enters the battlefield with twice. Ooh, ooh. Affinity oh, uh, for food. Uh, Eleanor Gardner was the other one I was thinking. I was. Should we before. play the snack attack commander in here? That makes Which one? all the creatures into food. I'm not familiar with that one. We made him, Derek. Are you serious? <laughs> that makes them into food? Yeah, Derek. We got to play. We got to play cool shit. You don't remember Snack Attack? Derek, I'm no, disappointed in you. No, it's black. We can't play that. Oh, it's black. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Damn. Yeah, yeah but remember other creatures uh, yeah. are food in addition right. to their. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we got to play like weird shit. That like we play stuff like this that like blow. Remember, Bane of Progress became insane. Yeah, yeah this deck, Snack Attack, uh, my friend. But do you remember uh, El Eleanor Gardner? Did we get her? Eleanor. She's cool. <laughs> she makes a food and the beginning runs. Eleanor. If you sacrifice Gardner. the food this turn, you search your library for a basic land card. So just like a cool ramp with with sacking for food. There it gets. Yeah. You know, we can also. Uh, oh, never mind. We can't. I was going to say Chatterfang, but I forgot he's got black in the mana cost. Yeah, we cannot. Hello. Welcome back. We're, we're working on some food stuff. Did I get Academy Manufacturer? Hold on. Let's make sure. Yes, I did. Okay. Got to make sure, baby. Yeah. Oh, uh, Cyber Drive Awakener is kind of cool. Ooh, that's another one that works kind of like the historic guy, right? Yeah, because it, it makes, uh, when it enters the battlefield, each non creature artifact becomes a, uh, yeah. Yeah, 4 4. We, mm -hmm. uh, here, you wanna. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so it's, it's a rise and shine, yeah. Stuff. And they get, they get flying, yep. Cool. Would you consider brewing a Chroma Vision of Ixalan for me in the future? Yeah, we could. We have like a, a couple things that like you know we need to get. That would you? Oh, hold on. It's a Chroma. This, this one. Wait, which one did he say? Did he say Chroma Vision, Vision of Ixalan? It's the uh, Ixador. Ixador. Oh, and it's a partner one. Did you did you want it with like a? Did you want it with like a partner? Oh, Ixador. Oh, it, uh, isn't that the, this one? Isn't it? It's blue, isn't it? No, this. Or, this is. Or this just is a chrome. No, maybe I'm thinking of someone that. It, no, I'm thinking Ixador. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, did he want any what, partner? What is fine. You can optimize. Okay. So we'd probably want something that's green with it. Yeah, probably. Like green Cause, red. Yeah, because it's a cre it's a creature it's a creature matters deck. Mm -hmm. So probably so yeah, probably a like a Tana, mm -hmm. or like a, what are the other green red partner commanders? Tana's pretty good, right? Like uh, this one. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah. <laughs> did you notice? I just clicked on the. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. It thought that it could partner with this. No. Uh, so you said uh, a chroma. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'll write it down for you. Do you have a a budget that you want to do? For it. Because yeah, if we're going, on, if it's more on a budget side, I'd probably say let's just go green white. Yeah, gr it needs green something because green will carry the weight of it even being a budget deck, whatever budget you want it to be. And then, and also uh, having the keyword haste in red is probably really good. Two hundred, completely doable. Wait, uh. Okay, yeah. So Al, Al, we're just, it's like alphabet soup. 
Yes. As many keywords we can fit on, on a single yes. card. And then we'll we'll figure out a good fit with it. But it'll more than likely be one of the green commanders. It might just be like the one that taps for a mana and draws, or like uh we'll see. We'll we'll, we'll look more into it, but definitely it'll, it'll have green, because green at every budget level. So I'm writing that down. A chroma vision of Ixidor, any partner of our choice. And two hundred dollars. Got it. Okay, after we after we do this one, uh, and then I'll show you my Gishaf deck as well. Uh, but we definitely have enough cards now to do a deck like that. That's why we probably want to play the more colors, the better. Like, imagine getting like rule in there. You get to play all the dragons. Like, yeah, that that yes, that commander can be fun. Uh. I got a new one for the list we're working on right now. Okay. So it's Apothecary White. So it's cool. Whenever you attack, you create a food token for each player being attacked. So it means you get to make at least three. But she doesn't have to attack to get that trigger. And you get and one white and tap. You tap X on tap foods you control to create X uh, human creature tokens. So that could get cool. really swarmy, really Damn. wide, really quickly. I love the art, like, too. Just, just having, like, five... Uh, like foods is still making five creature one ones a turn. Then you swing with them and make three. Uh, you swing with three, you get three more. Damn! And, you get that. and it's yeah, got vigilance. Cool. Wow, what a yeah. card! That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, a lot of like creature based uh, outside of Lord of the Rings, like in uh, in uh, food making, does have black in them because. Mm -hmm. Black food. I, oh, uh, the the mother, uh, the goose mother was the other one. Mother, uh, goose mother is what it's called. Yeah, yeah goose mother. Oh yeah, this thing. Yep. Yeah, because okay. I mean, there's so many cool. Um, So there's Jahir, uh, it's Jahira, friend, uh, friend of the forest, where she makes tokens you control have that make uh, tap that green. That's kind of cool. Which one? Which Jahira? There's a lot. Uh, friend of the forest. Friend of the this one. Got it. Oh yes, yes, so yes. This is good. Man, I wish we could play Nomi. Yeah. The Master Chef. And also, there's some cool. There's Do we even have some anything cool to squirrels. deal damage when artifacts are enchantment center? under our control wasn't there that card that we played in snack attack that did that uh it's there's that's either in black or red i think usually though uh No, hold on. I think there was something that we played in... Hold on, I need to look at it. It might just be tokens. Yeah, you know, because yeah, there's Mirkwood Bats. That, that's usually... That's the... <laughs> the one that we were thinking... Uh, you might be thinking of. Hold on. No. There was a new one that got printed. No, oh, they're all in red the, when they enter. No, there's a white one. That, that deals damage? That, yes, that got printed. We put it in here. The new the, the new one was a red one that made it a copy of itself. Oh, it's red? Yeah, we, it's, it's at the top. It's a, it's a lizard thing, yeah. Oh, this white thing. Dealing direct right. damage, is, that's not really a white thing. Aside from Sutra Priest, but that's to their stuff. But, uh, uh, okay. What else? Remember, it's, it's a very, very conditional Sutra Priest, too. Yes. Um, many. Uh, oh, uh, it's the Battle of uh, of Bywater. Destroy all creatures of power three or greater. Then you make a food token for for each creature you uh, you control. Sounds cool. So potentially you can make a bunch of creature, uh, or it's just a good board wipe that's in synergy for only three mana. Mm -hmm. uh, many partings. 
it just searches for a land to hand but makes it a food token yeah food is like kind of out of my element the only food card i've ever played is tileless provisioner and never used it for food uh spider food destroy up to one target artifact enchantment or creature with flying and create a food token Can't run that as black. Yeah, it's got black. That's. Is there anything that lets us just pay mana and make food? Uh, not usually. I don't, th I don't think. Hold on, I want to look at what we played. In there's, uh, there's, there's a land that makes food, but again, it's black green, and it's one of the attacks. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at our snack attack list. We can't even play cat. That's so sad. Yeah. We can't play cat oven. Yeah, and there's this busted card. And then Guillaume. That's also uh, so, um, Oh, there it's uh Nuka Cola vending machine. Oh yeah, we could play that. How's it spelled? N U K A, right? N U K A and then yeah yep, there it is. Damn, bitch expensive. Yep. Uh heaped harvest cuz it's actually a artifact food itself. Should we play academy or uh like uh KCI? Carcline Ironworks? Uh if you want to go we could if we want to go down that road down that road. I know that he prefers doing combos over attacking so if we can play combo, because there is a combo with Nuka Cola Machine, right? Uh, probably. Uh, with Academy there's... Manufacturer, right? If you have Car Clan Ironworks, Nuka Cola Machine, and Academy Manufacturer, right? That's infinite. Because you make a food with Nuka Cola Machine, you make the treasure and the clue, right? Then you mm. sacrifice a food with KCI, you make two treasures, right? Then you make a food. You make a tap Trojan tre treasure in the other two, and then you sack. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so you just not keep sacking the food and making you make infinite colorless. Yeah. So we should play KCI. That could be one of our win cons. And, and or infinite and green. And we could we could also play. Uh, I just typed in. I just did you see me just? Type. Yeah, KCI. <laughs> Imagine it came up too. Oh my god. Car. It's spelled like this, right? Car Clan. It's got like a space, right? Car Clan Iron Works. There we go. Okay. And then, ooh, I love this art. Oh, that's awesome. It's like Dark Steel. Oh, I like that. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, should we play like uh, the guy that puts a counter on himself? Because. It works with that too, right? It works with anything that just sacks an artifact. Because you don't need the mana to, to make anything, right? We could play uh, the guy that uh, sacks an artifact and puts a counter on himself, the modular guy. Um, well, with Nuka Cola, because I think the one issue though is that like, we're not going to do much because the, the treasure treasure's oh. enter tapped. Yes, I know. Uh,. It is true. Is there so, anything like, else make... that could that could do it, or that's it? I guess we should probably play some tutors because this is feeling like that kind of deck that needs it because it feels like too fair, you know. But there is no budget, so we could play stuff to get the KCI because probably the only one worth running, right? Can you think of anything else that um, we... should we just play the food chain combo? Like, is he okay with us playing that as well? Because then we could play Ashnods. Because the believe it or not, I don't think the food chain combo works with KCI. Kind of, it does. The token that gets made, it works. But not when you recast the creature. Mm. What's the guy's name? 
that when he gets exiled, you replay it. He's also just really good in the deck, by the, the way. The Eldra the Eldrazi one? Yes, because when he dies, he gets exiled and you recast him. Yeah. He's also just really good. He, I think he's got as black long as in I don't right. go to swing, I don't care. Okay, okay. So we're playing food chain then. It's just like another way to win. But obviously we're going to need to play like a win con, right? Like a ballista or something. Like what 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 would we do? Like a blue sun or like well, I want ballista is probably pretty good. What's the guy's name, Dirk? The colorless guy? I'm trying to look it up. I don't remember. Cuz we can also play Mist Hollow Graven. Uh Cuz there's two that you can play, right? It's the Raven. Right? It's the Raven, Mist Hollow Griffin? Is it Mist Hollow Griffin? I don't know. It's I think it's Mist Hollow something. Yes, Mist Hollow Griffin. You may cast this card from exile. One dollar. I cannot remember the name of the color of this guy. Uh, Eternal Scourge. Thank you. I That's the best it. one. You may cast it from exile. When it becomes a target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, exile Eternal Scourge. And then we could play Ashnod's Altar. And then we could play for the win cons. Because it feels kind of in theme. I guess a walking ballista, right? And a blue sun, right? And then we could play some tutors. So, like. There's another funny one we could run with Ashnaut's Altar and, uh, and KCI. Where we also run Urza and Triplicate Titan. Well, we should play Urza. He taps all our our food. Why would we not well, I play mean, Urza? I meant I meant this uh, Urza. Different... No. Which one? The one it, that makes uh, something cost less. Uh, no, it's a uh, Prince of Krug. He's the one that artifact creatures get plus two plus two, and then for six many you can create tokens of a target artifact control this except one? the one one. This yeah. One? So what you do? Yeah. So you have Triplicate Titan in play, you have Urza, you make six mana, make a copy of Triplicate Titan, you sack the Triplicate Titan, and it makes three colorless golem uh, that has its three abilities, so you sack all of it, so you made eight mana, and then you use Urza on the original Which, Triplicate Titan. Also, why would we not play Triplicate Titan in this deck in the first place, right? True, yeah. Because all the copies it, would, would, that would work as well. Yeah. And once we have infinite mana, we can make a copy of every single artifact that we control. Trip. And they all become 1-1s one in addition to the other types. Cool. That's also just also... good in the deck. That's an anthem yeah. to the creatures we're killing. It, it's, yeah, he's a generic anthem and also uh, can be a combo out. Yes. So we should also just, I guess, play like a Jace as like a backup if we want to just draw our deck. Jace Wielder Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Uh... And then I guess we should play some tutors. Uh, like solve the equation is good. Uh, Enlightened tutor seems good here. Because a lot of our combos are, are work with that. Uh, I guess like a war for invention? No. Hold on. I kind of almost want to build this as just as like a splicer golem deck because we have a lot of golems now. And there's like a lot of budget options for some fun stuff we could do. Yeah, see, that's the deck that I've seen. Uh, but the golem deck would obviously be swinging. Yeah, uh, and, and again, that feels like a very much more for funsy type of deck. Yes. Uh, so I guess we can play like Fabricate and Whirr. Fabricate... And were. Oh, nope. <laughs> the opposite, they got me. The defabricate. Um. Uh, yeah, we're for invention. Yeah, because if we have, we could tap all the the foods for manas. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he said no budget, so transmute. We can sack one of them, get a one drop, put mana into it, you know? <laughs> yeah, how, how much is that? 
The thing is, he would add it too. <laughs> it's four hundred dollars right now. <laughs> hey, chump change. Uh, is it like giving us the like ratio of the decks that this is in? You're about to be ratioed. <laughs> It's probably talking about our decks. This card's fucking insane. What a card. Uh, is there any other Bernard combos that we can play? Because I know it's really good with Food Chain. And we could play Ash Nods. Because it also works with Phyrexian Altar, I believe. Did I add Food Chain? Okay. Okay, so we got Ballista decking ourselves and playing Jace and uh, Infinite Tokens as well. So I guess we should just add some just like good cards to this. So yeah, like like, like ramps and dr yeah. ramp draw counter spells ways yeah. ways to like ancient. We could play the Great Henge. Uh, we we're still a Beast Whisperer deck, right? I don't see why not. We have a lot of creatures. Uh, and also Beast Whisperer, we can sacrifice it with a token doubler out and make a copies of it. So the yeah. creature versions seem extra good in this. Guardian project. Wait, should we? Uh, there is an argument to play Kindred Discovery and name Golem, but I guess that's more better in the Golem deck. Uh, okay, so Nix Bloom Ancient. Uh, What else could we play? Uh, Beast Whisper. Should we play the guy that draws once every time you make a token? The Convoke guy? The white guy? The which, the which one? The one that draws the first time a token enters. We did play Gradle uh, last deck, I'm just saying. I don't know if this is really a... I mean, like, we could put it in there. Like, it's not like it's going to be bad, you know? Uh, that's a uh, low shield clockwork scholar. Oh, but that's artifact creatures. Oh, that does work, right? But there's also the one that just works for tokens, right? For the food. The white guy with convoke. The first token that enters each turn you draw a card. What's his name? He's expensive. Um, he's mono white, right? Yeah, he's mono white. I, I know exactly. I think I know what you're talking about. All right, so I can't remember. All right, Drew, we'll put it in for you. What What does he want? He said, he said we did play Cradle last time. Yeah, I'll put in Yavi Maya Reliquary Tower. Can't forget the Soul Ring. Is there any mana rocks that involve food? Oh uh, yeah, probably. So I'm still looking for what this dude's called. I know, I know, I do know who do you're you guys talking know about. Who, who I'm talking about? The convoke white creature that draws the first time a token enters each turn. Oh, we could play Chew Lane. Uh, you mean Chew Lame? Hey, giggity! I'll say it every time. What about the elf commander we made as well? She's just she works with tokens, right? The Eldom Eldomri or what's her name? Is that her name? Eldomri? No, it's uh No, it's uh what's her name? I don't know. I'm looking up one name at a time. It's, and I don't have five uh, minds looking five different names. It's uh Why can I find this dude? Yeah, I, I'm... Dude, we've put him in so many decks and I'm drawing a blank right now. It's like right at the tip of my tongue, too. I even know what the artwork looks like. Uh, there he is. Benny Brack, zoologist. Yes. That's it. 
So it's the beginning of your end step. If you create a token this turn, draw yes. a card. But it has so it can work multiple turns though. Where's the Bant Commander that we made? The one that got Galadriel. That's her name. It just hit me. It's uh, this one. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Yeah, she's sucking the insane. Galadriel. What about like a Rashmi? No, Rashmi Nene. I've just been like so overly impressed with her. I guess like a. S Not Sorok and Goreclaw. I want the guy that pops artifacts. Uh, ancient. Is it Ancient Silver? Yeah, ancient. Silverback Elder? No, Silverback Elder. The boy. Oh, he's so. saying we did. You're right. We did put Cradle in a deck when he's saying we're iffy on transmute. So I mean, we could, I mean, we could play it. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's legal. You know, just a sad robot. Actually, a uh, sad, uh, sad robot. Um, Saul. Yeah, we got. Uh, but Steve, I mean Steve, because it's whenever another not talking to control dies, yeah, you exile so it. It go. Yes. So we get to like use them twice, which is kind of cool. Potentially more if we hit any of our token doublers. Does that mean burnish hearts good? Oh, um, because it says it's a non token so. creature, yeah. And then I guess we could play stuff like I guess like caustic caterpillars good, right? Oh, because he had multiple... Yeah, things that sack themselves. Wait. Playing, like, the creature versions. Uh, What's the guy that flips into a werewolf that is a caustic caterpillar? Oh, man, I always forget this guy's name. I know which one you're talking about, too. You know, it makes evoke things kind of cool, too. Outline Liberator. That sounds right. I love this guy. It's okay. Having black as a color for this. Yeah, not having black. Yeah, you're right. Like, we were just yeah. looking at our snack attack deck, because... There's so, yeah. I'm looking I was looking through all the food stuff and it's like mm -hmm. so much of it has bl uh, black in it mm -hmm. because the throne of Eldraine's uh, black green was like the, the food, the primary food color. So we'll mm -hmm. get the greens. There's some green stuff we could get, but there's also a lot of like black stuff that we're just What's missing. What's the mana rock that lets us cast uh, non artifact spells by tapping the artifacts? Oh, uh, that's got to be good. I let's Spire of Industry. I, um, I know you're talking about. Um, Oh, I know exactly what it's called too. Let me find. Uh, inspiring sanctuary. Not artifact spells have improvise. Yes, I guess. Like, I mean, old Nawbone is a card. Do we want to play that? We have token doublers. Yeah, he said he said he doesn't really want to attack. Yeah, but to make treasures is a different thing. Uh. Plus, like, we're really good at making treasures because we're playing all the token doublers. So it would make a, a lot. Right? We 
we ended up putting a, a lot of the token doublers, right? Uh, we could play Trail of Crumbs is kind of a cool one. Whenever it yes. enters, you make a food, and whenever you sacrifice a food, you can pay like one, that one, and you look at the top and get a permanent. Yes, yes, I like that one. That's Oko. Another... Let's play Oko. Why not? I, I feel like we should. To make people miserable. Hey, it's a plus two that makes a food. Like, that's good enough. Uh... Okay, so to Thurry's protection, Chroma's will. I mean, we can, remember we're in blue, so we could just run counter spells. Yes, and well, we we still want protection and will. They're still the goat, but yes, we're gonna play counter spell. Dovin's veto, mana drain. Uh, since there's no budget, Fierce Guardianship. And Cyclonic Rift. Oh, this has to be a Smothering Tide deck, right? With with token doublers? Uh, yeah, I guess we could, yeah. Seems good. Time to get a reprint for Smothering Titties before it gets up too high. Yes. Uh... Uh, and then we can do, like, some ramp. Is there any other draw we want to play? Like, is there anything that we're missing? Like, do we want to play any more Beast Whisper effects? Because they're kind of good in this deck. Because we can I mean, We're, them we're also in blue and green, so we could also just play draw X cards, which is probably better overall. Because you think about it, we just go draw eight cards with, like, a draw spell. The amount of time we would have taken the draw, we'd have to, like, that many cards with, like, Beast Whisper effects is play eight creatures. Mm-hmm. Oh, so like when we have blue options, but just the draw X cards just seems really good. Or we if we, with, with stuff with like how many uh, tokens we make, we could do like uh, uh, what's the one with affinity? Um, what's the flying creature that has affinity that draws two cards? Thought monitor. So thought monitor. Or we can just play Sphinx. Should we play Silvana, Heart of the Wall? Uh, I don't, know. I don't know if we're gonna get like super big. Yeah, maybe not. I feel like it might be good to play like the creature ramp in this version, so that they can die and become something like a bird's. Like I think this is a Birds of Paradise deck, right? Yeah, probably. Uh. So I also think that this is probably like a, a shamanic revelation deck, right? Yeah. Probably a shamanic revelation deck over like a. And what's the other one we like? It's like a cons, uh, com. It's camaraderie. Uh, camaraderie, yeah. There we go. Uh, yes, make the deck cost a lot. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, Rhystic Studies a magic card. Uh, it's a common. <laughs> you're a common. Yeah, you're right. This is you, Derek. You are Rhystic Study. 
You know what's funny is that that's exactly what Marty's at work said. <laughs> He's like, you know, this if you're a bachelor party, you're a study. Yes, this is how everybody feels when they play against you. Just like how I feel when there's a rhystic study. Somebody's drawing cards and getting paid for it. Uh, I guess like an academy runes would be nice. In case we want to get our combo back. Mm. Obviously, season's passed. Oh. Valley Ged, Seagate Restoration. We also get to run uh, the Shire. is kind of cool. Because it tap on tap creature you control to create a food token. Yes. The Gingerbread Shire. Cabin. The Shire. Nope, not you. The Shire. Not you. Uh, Ooh, gingerbread, gingerbread Cabin. Yes. yes I like gingerbread. that. Uh, high Market. Also, cool new one is Archway of Innovation. So then there's tap unless you control an island, and then a blue and tap, the next spell you cast this turn has Improvise. Gross. Um, Inventor's Fair, because it's nice having a tutor land. And we should have enough with the food that we make. Mm hmm. There was a land I was thinking. Oh, Seagate Restoration. I don't know if you need to run, want to run any of the white ones. No, no. We we got counter spells. We're good. What about like a Marais Week? That card's a dumb card. Okay. So even though we're not playing like a lot of artifacts, there's going to be a lot of artifacts because one, when our creatures die, they turn into them. And two, we're playing all the food makers. So it's going to, there's going to be a lot more artifacts than we think. Cause we got like, this can make artifacts because it can turn our creatures into them. Uh, oh, should we play like a bloom tender? That seems good. And the other guy, we can make copies uh, of that. What's the other guy? Uh, so I, I always know Bloom Tender, and I know the other... Oh, fuck, what's the other one? He... You want us to make the deck cost a lot? All right, Tabernacle. <laughs> I would like to put Tom in the garbage. <laughs> Academy Ruins. We won't tell anybody. Talarian, uh, Talarian Academy. We, we won't tell anybody. Yeah. No, uh, Mana Crypt. Yeah, we won't tell anybody. Uh, what's the guy's name? Looking for uh, this is the one I always forget too. Mm -hmm. Faye Burrow Elder. Thank you. Stupid tree. I don't think we really need to run the unblockable stuff for this deck. Because I think it's going no. more for combo and value. Yeah. Is there any other... Ramp. Circle of Dream Shred? Um, it's not bad. I mean, also, other Urza seems pretty good, too, like the... Oh, the yeah, one. why would we not play him? So I mentioned the other Urza, but yeah, that's true. We could totally run that one, too. We should just look at the Urzas. Battle Thop Thop. You made that deck, right? This no. One. You never made this one? The Battle oh, well, I guess kind of, I guess kind of I did. I, I was running a different commander, and then I just swapped it into that. And then I switched. Then I made it into a uh, Karn, mm -hmm. and just made and put. And again, I just kind of put that in the main board and took out one other card and made um, the the Golem Art Karn creature. Gotcha. All right. Uh... <laughs> 
This is such a strange deck. Do we get the matter reshaper guy? Do I ever ant that guy? No, it doesn't. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, Eternal Scourge, sorry. That was the guy I was thinking of. Okay. Oh, wow. I was looking through, scrolling through some stuff, and like, again, because I'm looking through stuff for this deck, there's a really weird, like, a splice card. Because you know how splice used to be always splice into arcane? Mm -hmm. This one is just a splice into instant or sorcery, just in general. It's not good for our deck because this is for the golem build, but still, that's mm -hmm. really cool that it exists for, like, I didn't even know that card existed. Oh, God. We're so fucked on this one. I just looked at how many cards we have in it. Oh no, we haven't even put in the yeah. lands in. All right. Yeah, well, no, we've been just putting, we've been putting everything in the kitchen sink, and I think we kind of like shifted build ideas halfway through. So like we went like in, we had some creature build ideas, then we went into like more combo. But the problem was like food is like just like a fun thing to have, but you know, it's hard to do anything with the food. Like we added everything that the food could win with already. Uh. The okay, command tower, um, Spara's headquarters is our tri land. Okay. And then te it's Temple Garden, Breeding Pool, Hello Fallon. And then we could play the duels. All right, the true duels. Hallowed Fountain and. What was the other one? It's uh, uh Green Pool. Yes. And then Tropical Island. And Tundra Savannah. <laughs> Guy is Crail just for just because. It's in there already. Put another one in. You want me to play two? Yeah. Okay, we'll play it how guys place his decks. I got you. Just we'll, we'll play the, the slow guy's cradle. No, we shouldn't play that. Uh, no, we shouldn't. Uh, let's get the battle bond land so it's... Uh, Bountiful promenade. Yep. Bountiful promenade. <laughs> sea of clouds. Jubilating springs. And sea of clouds, yeah. And then in a shroud. Um, do we? Well, there are other tutorables we could go for if we want to go more down that road. If unless you want to, well, yeah, I guess we can still put them in. Um, but do I think we only have one thing that cares about landfall, right? Which is the tireless provisioner. I I guess again we're not really running like true land rent land rent. Okay, yeah. So um. So uh no that's. Dreamroot Cascade. Uh, Deserted Beach. Ooh, it's one dollar. Yeah, because it's printed in the commander deck. And Overgrown Farmland. Gotcha. Filters, Mystic Gate, right? Which you want? Did you want to do that, or did you want to do something? Uh, one of the other lands, like because you do the the pain lands. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do the pain lands. Yes. Yeah, because so sometimes those the the filter lands get really awkward. Rejuvenating Springs is that one? Of them? No, we got that one. <laughs> no, I'm worried that one. Uh... It's Yavam. It's Yavamaya Coast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brush Land. And add a car waste. Okay. I got you a VMI already. Let's see. And then we need planes. Uh, 
Let's look at the ratio. Thanks for the stream. Talk to you later. All right, man. Thanks for coming in. See you, see you later. Okay, so white is the lowest. Green the most and blue the second most. Okay, so... That's... I should play a lot of forests and islands. Ah. Uh. That'd be 36 lands. Maybe we don't need high market. It uh, truly. I'm scared to look. Okay, 17, all right. Okay, we got to trim down on some of this fat here. Okay, what are we thinking? I go top way, go back. Mm -hmm. When I, uh, you know what? Maybe the uh, harvest thing, the, the green card, the very the second card. This one? Yeah, because it's three mana to play it, and you have to sacrifice it to get the land. So realistically, you have to spend five mana just to get the effect. It doesn't seem worth it, honestly. Yep. Anything here? Uh, Banquet Guest could probably go, because we're not really doing that, that anymore. And it doesn't make food. It just uses food. He still wants it to be mainly a food deck, but, you know. Yeah, we're trying that, our that, best. that doesn't it's really it's make really, food. Yeah, it's, re it's really hard. Especially without black. Yes. Anything here? Um, True lane is when it enters, right? Cast. Cast. Uh, the other one is when it enters. But the world's still insane. Like, it's better than having a Beast Whisperer. For one more mana, it does like a hundred things more. I would prefer to maybe cut the Benny before cutting. Like, yeah, I don't think we really need... Benny, you run Benny when you don't have good draw. We're in green and blue. And Yeah. Why, yeah, why are we using white draw mechanic engines yeah. in a, in a blue-green deck? Yes. We don't have to play the Griff. I mean, we could also possibly cut down on some of the combos. Like, if we don't want to play the other Urza and Triplicate Titan. But it's also just good in this deck. I don't know yeah. what you think. Do you want to play both of these? Or should we just stick to what we have with all the tutors we're playing? I feel like this is the highest costed one that we have. Yeah, because you have to play the nine mana and then you have to make a copy of it. So I think we just cut that and this. You know, the thing is, like, this Urza is not terrible, even just by itself. But I don't we think we're going that route, so. Wait, wasn't there a newer card that's better than Urza for tapping things? Wasn't there, like, a green creature that was printed that just, like, taps tokens for, like, any color or something? It, make, it, makes, it makes it for green. 
But it doesn't have the yeah. uh, the, the five ability at yeah, the bottom. See, but that's why and I it... asked you, genius mass deck builders, make that food. <laughs> well, we're making it work. Um, we're trying our best. Uh, what'd you say, Darren? But uh, yeah, the one you're thinking of, it makes green man. It makes green out of the tokens, but it doesn't have the other ability. We're just getting to play something for free off the top of your deck. Mm -hmm. I don't even think Sir Ginger is even that good. No, he's not. He's not making food. He just is a food. And yeah, like he gets big, but we're doing better stuff than that. Uh. Yeah. See, this taps food for green. Yes, yeah, so, so it makes it a little bit of payoff for the food that we make. Because remember when our creatures die, they become food tokens. Isn't there just a better card now that just taps anything for green? Oh, but this also makes the food when it enters. Um, Yeah, we have it. It's Jira. It's and then it also is green. a win con as well. Creatures you control get plus X, where X is the number of food. So no, I like this. Mm -hmm. This is good. Uh... For you sack of food, you may pay one. If you do, look at the top two cards of your library. You may reveal a non-land permanent from among them. Put put that into your hand, and then the rest on the bottom in any order. Hmm. We don't have to play study. I mean, it would make the deck better, but we could just like try to keep the flavor still. Because like Smothering Tithe works with the theme, because there's like a you know, there's like a to there's a token theme. Unless you think you want to keep the study. I do have a request when done. Please somewhere or somehow get me a list of the combo and written in a way so a dumb dumb like me <laughs> can understand. Uh, I mean, this one you should understand because like it. Have you have you seen food chain combos before? The only other one that's complicated is there's two like not super complicated ones, but there's a uh, KCI with Nuka Cola machine and Academy manufacturer. Do you understand how that works with these three? Cause Academy manufacturer makes a clue food and treasure. And Nuka Cola says, whenever you sacrifice a food, create a tap treasure. And then KCI just sacks an artifact that makes two. So you make a food with this. You sack it to Car Clan. You get two tap, tre tap treasures, which makes a clue of food and a clue and a food as well. So you can sack that food to make the two trap treasures, which you sack one of the, the food. Yeah, so these make infinite colorless. Well, yeah, well, that that was also a new combo in the format. Derek, he got the, the rosy cotton one off with the new Eldrazi spawn guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got that combo off. Yeah, like, uh, that that one is is a newer combo, so. But, yeah, like, the, the, the other one, the only one that's not super straightforward is Ashnot's Altar with the um, Eternal Scourge and the Commander. But, I mean... We should, I mean, it, 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 you just sack him and recast him. Like, most of the combos in here are pretty straightforward, honestly. Oh, we have this. <laughs> yeah. That's, I think that's, that was the other one. That's the better one. And then we also have Urza. But do we need all of them? Uh, we can cut out the, the one that, that one that's just for tokens, the green one. But what's more important, green or blue? I just Ursa I think has a better other effect. Green, well, the other one green, is just... green is more important actually, but they're pretty close. But oh, the other one can also doesn't... draw our deck. Yeah. When we go infinite. As I said, that's why Urza is so busted. Like he has like the best effect. So you think we cut this one? Yeah. I agree. Ten cards. Let's look at instant sorceries because we haven't even gotten down there yet. Actually, we haven't even looked at all the creatures yet. So no. we don't want to cut all this. 
I think all this is good. Um, yeah, having a little bit of removal options are nice. Yes, and then we have... Is this a Circle of Dreams deck? Do we really need this? Well, how many creatures do we have? Well, we I do mean, have token. So understand that when our commander sacrificed the creature, it's making a token. So if we yeah. have any of the doublers, which we're playing a lot, we can actually have a lot of creatures in play. That's why Guy's Cradle and Shamanic Revelation are going to be really good in here. So Circle of Dreams should might actually be good. Is Burnish Heart too gimmicky? You know, I've never been a big fan of Burnish Heart unless I really had to. It just, I never really, it feels so awkward to play it and then spend the three mana to, yep. to the ramp. The only deck that I'm, needs Burnish Heart are decks that can't ramp lands, like a black deck, if they want. But at that point, I'd rather just run a three mana, mana rock, because getting one extra mana for wasting an extra turn just feels right. but progressively if worse. If you're like if you're like aggressively using Cabal Coffers, then that's the only reason why I still play it in Villas. I play all the things that get lands into play, like in black. Mm -hmm. uh, just because, like, one, I play all the really fast mana rocks anyway. Like, I have Mana Vault in the deck. So, like, playing mm -hmm. a Burnished Heart isn't that hard. Also, like, monocolor decks have stupid ramp. Like, they get Scepter and, like, you know, Nykthos and Nykth Lotus. So, like... I never have trouble using Burnish Heart, and like with how good Cabal Coffers is in that deck, like I I kept it in that deck. But that's the only deck that I think would be the argument to keep it. So uh, otherwise, do you think we need to play both Mist Hollow and Eternal Scourge? I mean, it's good to have redundancies, but I guess again with the thing with Eternal Scourge, what are we wait? Were we worried about it getting exiled? Oh no. It literally is its own. It existing is its own like counter to being removed. Yeah, I don't. Because... I don't think we need them both. Plus, the Eternal Scourge makes colorless, so it works better with everything else. Uh. Also, we should probably play Archdruid Charm. As a as like a ramp, and also a tutor. Okay. So, do we still like all these? Yeah, these are good. Okay. What about all these? We need we need all those. Yes. Um, go up a second. The elephant, I'll read it. Because we're not really attacking again. We don't really care about the draw because it's only once a turn. And like I said, we have better draw. Oh, totally. We're great. So we don't need to rely on white draw engines no. when we have blue and green. No. I think all this is good too. Mm -hmm. I like all this as well. Do you still like Mirari's... this? Um, no, yeah, because it gets permanent cards we're looking for, and our combos are all permanents. Mm -hmm. Um, Mirari's Wake, I think, is the one thing I'm okay with. Like, just kind of okay with. A uh, a five mana land doubler is still pretty good. Yeah, but it's like, it eh, cool. Mm -hmm. We don't have to play a Chrome as well. Do we put counter spells in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter yeah, spell, okay. Mana Train, Dovin Zito, uh, Fierce Guardian yeah, all the, All the good ones. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. I put an Enlightened Tutor, Archdruids. There's a blue sun and a walking ballista for a payoff. And then we have 34 lands uh, plus uh, Balagad and Seagate. Uh, we could probably get spider food. It is a little expensive removal, and I think we have better, like, Yeah, because the creatures that we're going to sack are going to turn into food, so the ones yeah, that we're playing that do it. And they're just, like, much better. And again, we don't need too much of that stuff, because, like, you only need to get rid of one or two problems, You usually. Like, you never need, like, 15, and the ones that we have are, are we could hit multiples at a time. And, or we, and we have Cyclonic Rift. You know, like a Nexus of Fate... 
No, not Nexus of Fate, but if we played in extra turn spell, we would have that season's Oh, true, we'd have, we'd have the extra tur infinite turn combos. Do we even need transmute? No. I don't, I don't think this is the best transmute deck. I think you the know, other... It, it, it does help the budget, too. Yeah, but he doesn't care about budget. No, no, I'm just saying. It just keeps the budget less for him. <laughs> uh... Legit, I'm asking for uh, is this a uh, thing plus thing equals infinite? I don't think we'll we get... have any two card. Well, there's two cards plus your commander. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll put them together for you. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll show you at the end. Okay, so we need to cut five cards still. We don't need Old Nullbone. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Even though the dream of that Academy manufacturer, ooh. Ooh. Spicy. Uh -uh. How many more did they cut? Four. Four. So we have three win cons and J's. My thing is we would... Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's fine, yeah. This deck is so strange. It kind of almost reminds me of a weird version of my my Urza deck, where it's just like here's four, like here's three different combos that could happen. Do you want to cut the battle of of yeah. Grey Water? I was thinking the same thing. Maybe we just don't care about Rise and Shine anymore. Because we're not, yeah, we're not going to the attack strategy really. So the other one I do like is if we have infinite mana, we could activate it and go for that. That, but that's just like, yeah, I see what you mean. It needs, we need to go really, really wide for make that. But then maybe in that same, we could cut. <clears throat> no, because it still makes foods. Never mind. I was gonna say the the one what that's about, make. What about these though? Uh, maybe dinosaur, or maybe we cut both of them. Because I guess we really don't really care about that strategy. Yeah, because if you're not doing splicers or all tokens, you're not really gonna like. We're not playing like Moonshake or Calvary or anything. Because he said he prefers to win with foods or combo. So, because obviously you could play Moonshake or Derek, play Moonshake or Calvary, sack it to Phyrexian Altar. Yeah. Dies. Crater hoof or, or Crater hoof. Yes. But he doesn't want to do that. So. Put them both in the maybe board. Did 
Okay, that's that's oh, all. Yeah, it's right. only three grand. <laughs> only. Okay, let's give it a shot. I mean, we got a goose. We got it. We got. I mean, you got three food generators, and a ramp source. I guess we start with. 